The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. We have Mike from Chicago on the line, and he has a question about digestion. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. First of all, I just wanted to say that I love the show. I think it's uh, it's great programming, and I'm very much of a like mind when it comes to you know taking control of your own health and certainly doing your own research. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Happy Friday, everybody. It's Nico and Paige here on Living a Primal Lifestyle, and it's a beautiful day here in downtown Clearwater. In fact, Paige, it is mostly sunny and 79 degrees. It's hot out there. Yeah, it's uh, almost like summer here. It's I mean, hard to get in the Christmas spirit when, when you know, yeah. they're, try they're playing the music, but, uh, you know, everyone's running around yeah, T-shirts. Yeah, it's unseasonably <laughs> warm here, which is really nice if you're coming down from the north. And right now, of course, everybody's getting hit with a, a big storm up there. And mm -hmm. uh, I kind of miss the snow, but not that kind of snow. Yes, Maybe just sure. to fly in and enjoy it for a day or yeah, two. Yeah. Hope Maybe on a ski slope or something. Yeah. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I did. Uh, however, uh, the Saturday, um, uh, the 23rd of uh, November, my sister uh, lost her battle with cancer, a multiple myeloma, and passed away. It was, uh, you know, you're never really prepared for anything like this, Paige. It's no. uh, When my parents died, you know, they were, uh, it's a little different. But when your sibling dies, it's it's a whole different bag. and. It really hit me hard. It was, know, it was so very sorry. difficult. On my Facebook page, uh, I've got a picture of my sister and myself and uh, my wife, Ellen. And this was taken in San Francisco just a couple of summers ago. Mm -hmm. We went up there and really had a good time. And, you know, I spent uh, all my Christmases and my Thanksgiving with my sister. It's going to be and a hard time then. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. You know, you have these images of her, of course, and of course the image is not the same thing. So there's a conflict there, and that's what brings us to grief. It's harder, of course, on the living. Uh, I'm thankful that now she's not in pain anymore mm -hmm. because the last three months was very rough, and it was, it was very hard. And I'm not going to go into all the particulars of, you know, uh, the choices that she made to, uh, you know, try to battle this disease. Um, personally, I always thought that if she just left it alone, maybe she'd still be alive. But you don't know those things, and those are probably some of the hardest choices you'll ever make. And that's really funny because I think with what we do, we're looking at information. We have really passionate feelings about the way we want to approach things, but it's very hard until you get there sometimes. And, yeah. Well, and she actually introduced me to the paleo diet. Yeah, and she was in, she was a vegan a vegan for many many years over 20 years, and even though she uh, uh, embraced the paleo style, uh, you know it may have been too late. I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to really get into particulars. Or, but you know, it's the thing is with grief and all those things. Th these are images that we have of the people, and we've got to realize that the image is not the thing. And I uh, told Tom a story the other day that my dad was a real real bright man. And him and I went into the woods a lot together. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, uh, we were living way up north in Canada in Sudbury. And he took me on this little trip. And he was actually selling insurance at the time, health insurance. And he was going to this lodge. And this lodge was north of the Trans-Canadian uh, Highway. So it was really out in the woods. We had dirt roads we were going down. And finally, when we get to the lodge, it was a beautiful place. And uh, they had their own electricity from the waterfall. And my dad took me out the first day. He says, we're going to go for a walk. And boy, we were walking for maybe about 30, 40 minutes, you know, stomping through the woods. Because my dad really liked two things, looking at mushrooms, looking for mushrooms, mm. and identifying them and teach me, him, uh, teaching me about them, and then looking for snakes. He always had a passion for snakes. And so that's what we did. We went out in the woods, and we come to this huge clearing. And I know we had never, my dad had never been there before. So he looks down in the distance, and there's this tree. And he says, look at that big tree there. He says, what kind of tree is that? I'm looking at the tree, and I say, well, it's got white bark around it. So I know it's a birch tree. And he says, well, describe the leaf to me. So I said, well, the leaf is kind of oval-shaped. And I described it, and I says, he says, do you have that image in your mind? I says, yeah. I says, he says, so that tree and that image, is that the same thing? I says, of course. So I said, okay, let's walk a little farther. And this tree was about 50 yards away. So we get closer and closer. I'm looking at the tree, and he's yakking away. And all of a sudden, he says, now look at the tree. And I says, yeah, it looks bigger than it was. So he still, the image you have, is that still the tree? I said, yeah. He says, it's covered with leaves. Yeah, great, great. So we walk up to the tree. To my shock, the tree had no leaves on it. It was a dead tree. 
<laughs> wow. So he says, is that image the same? I said, no, it's not the same. And he says, that's the truth about every image that you have. The image is not the thing you're looking at, mm -hmm. because the image is the past, or you're projecting it in the future. You know, uh, and Tom O'Brien and Allie Ford had a great show on Wednesday night. Oh, it was great. Hope you all can join us. Yeah, every Wednesday living. night, yeah. 6 to 7. And it is actually on my, uh, let's see, we go over here to the... Uh, and it was really, you know, it was really great when I tuned into the show because a lot of what's going on there is is the whole thing that we all believe here. Uh, there is a force greater than just the things that are affecting how we live and our health, and our mindfulness and create really realizing who we are. I like the play on words to renew. Well, that's really to re know remember, mm -hmm. re put things together, remember who we are and get centered. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad we're doing this show. I feel like we're just covering all the bases here at TFNN. Well, yeah. And, uh, you know, the thing I like about their show, too, they had some great guests and mm -hmm. they were really talking about meditation. And meditation is really kind of a letting go of our thought process and trying to live in the moment. And I think mm -hmm. that's what my dad was teaching me. He was teaching me that the image is not the same thing. And if you're in the moment, you don't make conclusions about what's going on because you're seeing it. It's kind of like the bus is coming towards you. Do you have to think, well, there's a bus coming. I better step out of the way no you move because you're living in the moment that was if a you, beautiful teaching that your father shared my with dad you. was an awesome guy I mean, he, he had many many things like that that he mm -hmm. always gave me mm -hmm. and uh you know 30 years later you think of it and it goes oh that's what he was talking about because in, at the at the moment when i was 14 years old i didn't really get it i mean i got the visual part of it and i got it for a second what he was saying but i never connected it to now you know we need memories and things to do things and to make our ipad work and all those things but to become a better person to get rid of the jealousy or the envy mm -hmm. or to not worry or to de-stress thinking will never get you there yeah. it's the letting go of the letting thought go of the thought yeah and, being, and this is what meditation being a watchful is like. cat yeah the the observer the observer the observer of what's going on and it yeah. is a, and, and I think this show I hope you all tune in it's going to be a great opportunity because I think that if we all realize that meditation is a tool that we all can use and I really liked at the end that uh, Ali talked with one of the guests and she said you know people tend to almost view meditation as as a religion it's a self it's, realization practice. It's more of the absence of religion because religion is something that you're all constantly thinking about, you're praying about, and you're wishing for things. And uh, you know, I and, call it pure relation, as a far you know, yeah, pure relation, just getting one. you know, reconnecting. So I think that's going to be a great resource. Yeah, I think so too. And uh, so you know, we move on. Uh, uh, life is about the living. And what we did is we went down to St. George Island, where my parents, uh, we threw the ashes into the ocean. Mm -hmm. And uh, a bunch of us met there. In fact, there was 13 of us. And the beautiful thing part was my children, who live in Michigan, drove down all night just to be there, got mm -hmm. to see my kids, because they really loved my sister, because yeah. my sister was such a free spirit, very innovative on how she did it, uh, you know, approached life, and she was always... Uh, above the mainstream is what I call it mm -hmm. uh, in her dancing in her uh, aerobic activities she had a, uh, a uh, company called super movers back in the 80s we were teaching children how to be active oh, and I this like was that. way ahead mm -hmm. of, and this is talking three-year-olds all the way up to 15 year olds mm -hmm. and getting them active just and having fun with them and uh, it was called super movers in Tallahassee and it was a, a beautiful thing and now those people are 30 years old Right. You know, I mean, it, it was amazing how she shaped lives. And uh, she always loved gardening, and she always attracted birds to her area. And when we threw the ashes in the o ocean and the birds came and they were flying around, of course, they were looking at the food in the water. But we said, hey, that was <laughs> a spiritual thing right there. It was, it was really nice. And getting spending the day with my children, and the next morning we had breakfast together before they had to head off because they all have to work just like we do. But uh, it was sad. It was uh, fulfilling in a way. It was empty in a way, and all those emotions are wrapped up into one. And, uh, you know, now we move on. And uh, her husband, Jim, wonderful, wonderful guy who was at her side all the way through the whole thing, now he has a chance to move on with his life, you know. And it's not going to be easy, but the, that's what we do as human beings. We just right. move on and on. That's right. Oh, thanks, Paige. 
So, uh, folks, pick up my newsletter. I've got the New Health Signals newsletter that's uh, being sent your way right now, so please pick that up. I've got a copy of it sitting right here. But, uh, you know, some of the things that uh, we talk about in the newsletter uh, are real interesting topics. And one thing about the newsletter that I want to make sure is that there's plenty of links in there so people can do their own research. So you, you don't want to take my word for it. M most of these articles I haven't uh, really, I haven't written. I uh, modify them a little bit here and there just to make them a little bit easier to read. But I have all the original links in there. And so you can really discover what's going on in our world. And one of the things is uh, what happens when modern medicine all goes wrong is the title of the first uh, thing. I really liked what this article has to say. You know, how many contemporary medical practices are not any better than or any worse than doing nothing? It got me thinking a little bit about uh, a great movie that you all might want to check out. You can see it free on YouTube. It's mm -hmm. called The Living Matrix. Just Google The Living Matrix YouTube and you can see the full length film. Uh, I'm going to watch that this that, afternoon. That has home. some of the thought leaders. If I had to explain what my philosophy really is as mm -hmm. a holistic practitioner, realizing that we are so much more than just this shell that we're using to experience this reality, um, you know, what we do know is as a fact that 33% of all healings are attributed to the placebo effect. This is a conventional type of statistic. Yes. Well, that's another way of saying the body heals itself. But the reality is, is that there's a whole other, um, you know, set of statistics that indicate that we just don't know. I believe this is really pointing to the need for us to accept and integrate. You know, as we know in this country, we don't really have a health care system. We no, have a sick, sick care, care system, system yeah. of which uh, medicine has very little to do with health care, unfortunately. Yeah. So the time is now for us to empower ourselves with knowledge that spans ancient wisdom to quantum science and that's exactly what i do and i'm impassioned with people that want to work with me yeah i love the way them. you work with uh the people because you work with sounds and frequencies and aromas and those types of things always have impacted me, first of all, through music, mm -hmm. but also when I go do my ritual, when I go to bed, I use lavender, right. we uh, set off some incense in the room, we have our Himalayan salt lamp that is in the room all day lit, and then we shut it off, but all those ions are in there, and then, uh, you know, there's so much to sleeping, because we spend so much at it, uh, and we have to calm our mind down from this busy, uh, modern life that we have. Our life is full of anxiety, and we need to calm ourselves down. Uh, exactly, because we have a lot of fears, false evidence appearing Very real. real. Exactly. And kind of like, in that case, the tree was not something to really be fearful, but it was a false evidence appearing real. It causes to... conflict. Exactly. You know, it causes the, conflict. Uh, yeah, you have the observer and then you have the observed. And they're both. if it's both the same, there's no conflict. Mm -hmm. But if you have an image that is not the thing, and it's always not the thing. So if you're looking directly at it without any thought, then you're one with it. Exactly. Here we go. we got a break coming up. Yeah, it goes fast. Uh, folks, stick around. Pick up my Health List Signals newsletter. And the number here is 877-927-6648. Uh, Please give us a call if you have any questions or comments. Mm -hmm. And Paige and I will be right back. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. 
Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading, and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. That's right, folks. And also pick up my Health Signals newsletter. It's only $10 a month. You get two issues every single month and uh, full of full information that you need to really stay healthy uh, uh, and really educate yourself on this whole modern living and maybe how you can change it to uh, not only be healthier in the way we eat page but also uh, uh, of other stresses and things and one of the things that we were talking about before the break was uh, the sleeping and the anxiety and things that you know to de-stress yourself but I found this real interesting article about that our ancestors really didn't sleep the way we sleep today the eight-hour pattern of sleeping really was invented because of electrical light. Right. And before that, people slept in two four-hour segments normally or Because less. they went to bed earlier. They were followed yes. more of a circadian rhythm of yes, the sun. Yes, they, they probably took a 12-hour section of time, and then they would sleep for about four hours, and then mm -hmm. they would wake up, and maybe an hour and a half to two hours, they would spend doing very calm things. Well, having, they might they might be, do quiet reading, prayer, or even yeah, have sex. And have sex. That, that's probably the first thing I would think of when I woke <laughs> right. up, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, these these are all positive things and uh, you know you know, today we had uh, real anxiety, like you, you were talking in a break. We have anxiety when we wake up in the middle of the night, and I've always had that because I always sleep about four hours, and then I wake up, and I always say, oh, I try to get back to sleep, and right. sometimes I get up, but now all of a sudden I've changed my mind about the whole thing because of this article. So you're, yeah, exactly. So this article is giving you some clues, and I've been doing this for quite some time because uh, I have a lot of clients that mm -hmm. explain this anxiety about sleeping or these fears, false evidence appearing real. Mm -hmm. I said, since when does it mean that's how you have to sleep? How do you feel when you wake up? Well, if you could get over the anxiety of having the wakeful 
ness, mm -hmm. uh, can you find something to do? Well, not only that. The, uh, today, of course, we're forced into a different regime because you have to be at work at a certain time. Mm -hmm. I know I wake up at 5 o'clock and I have clients starting at 6 or 6.30 right. in the morning. But also, we have the TV that's on during the evening. Usually, you know, you have dinner, you watch a little TV, and then you go to bed, and then maybe uh, you're not ready for bed because of all that am that light that comes in there. But I've been experimenting with this, and uh, I'm, you know, all of a sudden stress-free. Last night I went to bed about 8:30, woke up about uh, one o'clock, and uh, went and uh, I did a little stretching. I laid on this. I have this beautiful, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, heating pad mm -hmm. that uh, is anti uh, some different kind of radiant light right really soothing and then I did a little yoga and Do a little uh, meditation breathe, me a little meditation a and little then mindful I went back breathing. to bed and I'll tell you when I woke up I woke up at five o'clock and I got myself all ready it took about an hour and a half to have my meal and everything got to work at 630 and then slowly my body was waking up and I just started feeling so good and I said boy this is you know this has been going on for about four or five days with me I'm saying this thing is working really well first of all no stress about waking up mm -hmm. you know because I was always taught you have to have the eight hours and if I'm not getting it I've got anxiety about it but also now I've got a whole new frame of mind that while I'm up I can read I can do other things and then slowly I'll fall back to sleep and then it was pretty good I mean it was great yeah and I do think that that's again coming back to the idea that what we're seeing more and more that's really at the root cause of disease um, or, or in the illness paradigm is being stressors. Yes. Whether they are real or perceived as real. What are the things There's that no I, difference, really. What, it, when you're, exactly. The yeah, effect is, is the same. The effect is exactly the same. Uh, no, I also use the words known and unknown um, because many of us are aware of things that cause us stress, but many of us are aware that there are stressors that... Um, that we're not aware of any longer, or, or maybe we never were. Uh, well, there's and no fear of the unknown. It's always fear of letting go of the known. Yeah. That's the opposite thing. In fact, the lady was coming into my uh, uh, workout place, performance training, and Tom was there, and he has he always brings his dog. And her his, her husband uh, came out of the car, and she says, "Oh, she's afraid of dogs." I says, well, "She's not afraid of this dog. She's never seen this dog. She doesn't know this dog. Okay. She's afraid of an image of a dog." Right. Now, I didn't say that to her directly. I told Tom that, mm -hmm. and that's what we were always talking about the meditation and that. You know, it's mm -hmm. always the image that you have of that. You're not afraid of that dog. You've never seen that dog. You don't know how that dog. Be Behaves. That's really great. It ties back to your story. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, at my office, you know, and you know, really, what I do and what I teach and what I share and what I practice is a fusion of ancient wisdom, mm -hmm. you know, covering all people across the globe, and quantum modern science and thought leaders that I think are leading. You know, you've heard me talk about Bruce yeah. Lipton and. Lynn McTaggart, these type of people that are really tying things in. And this is a perfect example. Maybe we just need to lower our stress level and accept things and yes. roll with it a little bit. Exactly. And then you can manage it a lot better. 877-927-6648 mm -hmm. is the phone number. You can give us a call. Please pick up my Health Signals newsletter. And we're going to be right back with some more really interesting topics on uh, living a primal lifestyle. So stick around, folks. Three decades of trading experience, Andy Hecht brings a tremendous amount of knowledge and expertise to each weekly issue of his newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report. The Technomental Commodity Report gives you Andy's unique technomental analysis of the commodities market, a combination of technicals and fundamental analysis which he has developed and perfected over his many years of trading. The Technomental Commodity Report is only $49 a month, and right now you can get a full month-long trial subscription while paying absolutely nothing. See for yourself the kind of weekly report Andy delivers to his subscribers every Thursday morning. You'll receive specific stock, ETF, and option trades based on Andy's analysis, so no futures account is required. For all the details and to start your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, Visit TFNN.com today. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? 
Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everybody, and we're living a primal lifestyle. Nico and I are answering your questions. Give us a call. Had a question I uh, wanted to address from Mitch when it was regarding gut health. You know, we, we had that great segment on um, gut and the effects of gluten. We were kind of highlighting yes. and encouraging everybody to take advantage of learning the valuable information that's being out there on the Gluten Summit. I think you can still get it at a good... Uh, you yeah, get the so whole it's not the $69 price anymore, but it's, uh, it is... Uh, I, uh, it's I think now eighty nine dollars, but the, they, didn't they have some problems with that? Uh, the videos on there? Too? No, that wasn't. That's the ancestral foundation. Oh, that is, so, yeah, okay. yeah, that's a that's okay. another thing. We'll bring that up. But um, you know, Mitch had some questions about. Uh, let me get let me get his question up here. Some questions in general: um, Are grains the issue, or is it gluten? Well, what we're finding out is that it goes beyond just the gluten molecule, but actually the gliadin molecule that's kind of gotten involved with, with the disruption in the gut. Hmm. And all grains are difficult for us to process, wouldn't no, you agree? Yeah, yeah. But truly, if you're having troubles and you want to start working on healing your own gut, you've just absolutely got to remove the gluten-based grains. And my recommendation to my clients, and again, they get fearful. Oh, I can't eat my grains. So never doesn't always mean never, but what happens is when you do eliminate offending foods and you get a, a good positive reaction, it kind of becomes common sense that this is something you want to continue to yeah. do. You know, uh, we have a caller on the line, so okay. I think we want to go to Tom in okay. Orlando, and he wants to talk about uh, what we were talking about with sleep. So Tom, are you on the mm -hmm. line? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, how's it going? Oh, good here. Uh, and you know, what you talked about those four hours was a little startling, but it really strikes a chord with me because uh, 
Well, I'm 60 now, uh-huh. uh, but when I was eight years old, I remember that was the earliest time that I was getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And it was very regular, and I didn't learn until I was in my 40s that I had weak kidney and bladder, mm-hmm. and, and I just thought it was normal for everybody to do that. Yeah. And I just figured, well, my three brothers, I never ran into them. I still don't know whether they got up in the middle of the night or not, but we just never happened to run into each other. We always had the night light. Uh, in the bathroom, uh-huh. and I've come to find out that that's not normal and, and that that's harmful in a certain way, whether it's to get up to urinate or to get up for something else. Uh, a, a really cutting-edge scientist had discovered that there's five ingredients to make adrenaline overnight, yes. and one of them, all, m- most of them are, are nutrient-type ingredients, yes. water, salt, B vitamins, etc., but right. one of them is a minimum of five hours of, of sleep. And, and he says if we get up in the middle of the night without five consecutive hours of being horizontal, then we make only 10 to 30% of the adrenaline because the body has to start all over again. Uh-huh. And uh, now I found out it's not five hours of sleep, it's five hours of being horizontal. So mm-hmm. if I wake up after four hours because I didn't digest my food well or something, uh-huh. or, uh, I could read in bed, just don't raise your head up because once you raise your head, that signals the body to stop making adrenaline and you have to start all over again get five hours or more. And you know, I've also heard that uh, the different light, if you all of a sudden go into bright light, that stops the melatonin, that goes to serotonin, and that can affect it also. I hadn't heard that, but I do know we need total darkness for proper melatonin production. <laughs> exactly. But, but, uh, there have been times uh, when I didn't, I didn't know this years ago, and I was trying to collect urine for a composting project, uh-huh. and instead of getting up to uh, go to the bathroom and urinate into a, a glass jug to collect it, I just kept it by the bed and rolled over, and I never realized all those months that I was doing that why I was so energetic. For the first time in my life, (laughs) I was making adrenaline. Pretty amazing. So I would really encourage you to consider try to get five hours of of horizontal every night. Yeah. I don't know if you could have sex and mess it up as long as you stay horizontal. But (laughs) I know after sex, I'm dead, man. I you know I'll be going back to sleep real easy. Well, while I have you, I just want to say that I've. I know Paige Clark, and, and I want to say that the, the modality, large modality she uses, I have been studying intensely for five years, not only to save myself from a life-threatening condition, but for friends and relatives, everybody I know. And I just want to say that if I was living in the Tampa Clearwater area, Paige Clark would be my practitioner. Yeah. I'm very blessed in Orlando to have four such practitioners. That she is a real blessing to your area, and if I was there, I would go to her for my primary uh, health care because no ma- almost no matter what I have, I know she has the tools and resources to overcome it. It's a really incredible new breakthrough system. She's studied intensely. That well, is. Tom and I, you know how much I love you and I, after you started talking, I realized it was you and I'm so glad that you shared that valuable information about sleep. We did kind of jump over but even at that, you know, when we're talking about these people waking up, it's quite possible that they were already getting the five. It truly is a magic number of five mm-hmm. and for many people that aren't, if they retrain themselves to stay in that position so they maintain that adrenal pump. The, the pink salt, the healthy salt, is critical as well. Um, I would go ahead and share, because we've got people all over the world, Tom, while we have you online, Tom uh, is a prolific um, you know, student of quantum science and what I practice, which is called quantum reflex analysis and really trying to tune into the body's biofield. He has a fantastic site. And I encourage you all to visit Tom's site. It's called Tom's Good Files. Uh, Tom, Tom. We, we've, we've got Tom's Good uh, And you can particularly go and listen to Dr. Marshall of Premier Research Labs, who is my mentor in this school of thought and this training, and you know, learn a little bit more about the kind of products and the, and the approach that we take in trying to help the body heal itself. Hey, and if you forget the, the website name, you can just Google Tom QRA and you'll get there. Usually. Yeah, quantum reflux analysis time, and that's great. You know, and maybe what we'll do too, Tom, is you know, at some point we can talk about putting that in the newsletter every once in a while because sure. it's got some Send great, we'll, great uh, information. But uh, Tom, I, I'm glad you're listening, and you know, we encourage callers to call in. Uh, thank you so much for your uh, support. Thank you. Just one thing I had, I, I have to admit that I'm still not quite there yet as far as my health uh, of kidney and bladder. Mm-hmm. Uh, one day I will be, and I won't need to urinate at night, but until I do, I get this workaround. And I've actually encouraged elderly, like elderly women who have to get up in the middle of the night, it's worth it to dirty up a Depends in yeah. order to be able to stay horizontal throughout the night. 
And people don't understand that, I mean, and, you know, again, if people wake up and they take a break, if they've gotten that initial, you know, time frame, I think it's okay. But you're exactly right. This is, a, this is an issue in making mm -hmm. sure that the kidney bladder. Um, Thank you, Paige. Yeah, Tom, thanks for calling. You know when you said that, too, about kidney and bladder, it goes back to something that uh, Nico shares, that he often uh, takes some raw honey before he goes to bed. I don't know if you've ever heard that, Tom. Oh, I'll, I'll give that a try. It's great, and but you and I both know what's one of the things that we've learned that helps people with urinary bladder is ultrapollen, which is a product that we have that's from five different spots on the earth, the most pure pollens from, from, and we will give people, I mean, it's amazing. I'll put people on kind of a loading dose for a couple of weeks, then they take maybe one capsule and a lot of that issue goes away. Wonderful. Well, I will definitely try the raw, unheated honey. I have some of that. Great. Th thanks a lot. Both thanks, okay, for thanks for calling, Tom. Great call. Bye-bye. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have, uh, let's see, something on the chat room here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dr. Ludstick. A pediatric endocrinologist at the University of California, San Francisco, spoke to students at the University of California Law School where he studied food policy law. Um, he speaks of all the lies about food supply and how he's trying to fight it. Well, uh -huh. you know, there's just got to be more and more of us out there. Try That's what we're here for. We want to talk about the positives, you know, and some of the yeah. negatives, but we want to enlighten, to to bring to the forefront some of the things that you can do, not to complain, but to well, overcome. This, there is a lot of information out there, and there's a lot of misinformation. I was listening uh, before we came on the show. I spent an hour and a half listening to this debate. Uh, it was called Don't Eat Anything With a Face. Mm -hmm. And I'll uh, I'll probably put in in a, a future newsletter, or you can get, you can just Google it on uh, YouTube, and you can watch the thing. It was kind of interesting. Two sides of the vegan. It, it had had uh, Joel Salatine, my favorite. It did. You yeah, know, yeah, he was you fantastic. know, his Polyface Farms is right. Yeah. Where my family's from. I like to always say that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the Shenandoah Valley area. Exactly. And uh, it was an interesting discussion. Uh, they had voting and stuff like that. I found that he cut off the speakers quite a bit. Uh, it was an interesting discussion, but they didn't bring up the real source of the problem that we have with food and is really understanding the fat-burning, sugar-burning scenario and how healthy fat is just the thing that is missing from a modern diet. I think healthy fat is at and the core. And healthy fat from animals or yeah. from coconut oil or palm oil. Mm -hmm. Getting the saturated, healthy saturated fat, getting some of the polys in there from animals only, not from plants. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think there's a couple little plant oils. Oh, yeah. So that, avocado that, is right, great. Right. Of course, the coconut is great. And uh, some of the uh, nuts have some great oils to it. But the, the primary has to be always the saturated fat. Well, see, the problem is, is that we are given toxic denatured, hydrogenated, yeah. vegetable free, oils. free radically damaged yeah. vegetable oils, and we are having to rebuild. And it's like, I have a saying, a friend of mine, you can't be well until you heal the cell. Yeah. And it's these cell membranes that are really, you know, part of the idea of consciousness and health is how is the biofield or the mind-body really communicating with this physical tool yeah. we're using. Yeah. And I truly believe where we used to have all the power was in the nucleus of the cell. The power is at the cell membrane. Yeah, and the membrane uh, really is controlled by the uh, fat. The cell membrane is a fat. It is correct, a bilipid, bilevel lipid layer that we need to restore and renew our cellular membranes because our cellular membranes have receptors for hormones. It has receptors for enzymes. Everything that happens at the cellular level happens with a healthy cell membrane. Yeah. Many of you have seen me talk about how many of us are walking around with, if you could imagine, every cell in your body, of which there are trillions, you know, being covered with a saran wrap, you know, it's not a pretty picture, you know. Uh, you know, just there's no ability for your cells to breathe. It's not an there's not an ability for your cells to get the good nutrition in and further the bad stuff out. Yeah. So we want to help rebuild, and that's why we want to help ourselves. Even though we are a body of cells, we have cells that have different jobs. So they have a different resonant frequency. Um, you know, a heart cell sings a different song. So, you know, mm -hmm. you talk to me about my use of frequency and voltage and how I think all that appeals, you yeah. know, applies and healing. You know, um, when we, our cells forget or are damaged in such a way that they can't behave the way they're supposed to, we need to provide that information so that your body can remember 
how to do what it was so designed to do. Yeah. I was uh, also listening to uh, a, a few talks on uh, Convention 21, and they have a lot of speakers on there. Not Convention or ag Agenda 21? Uh, or? No, it's not Agenda 21. Oh. Uh, well, uh, well, anyways. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the speakers there, they had a couple of them on performance athletes mm -hmm. and uh, the ketogenic diet. Mm -hmm. And uh, one doctor, and I, his name slips my mind, but it was very interesting because he's been on a ketogenic diet for 30 years. And, of course, there's so much information because I know uh, I'm speaking to doctors, many of them warn against the ketogenic diet, thinking that it's the same as the keto, uh, keto uh, acidosis uh, type of thing that happens when uh, the uh, a person who has uh, type 2 diabetes or type 1 diabetes uh, you know can't produce the insulin so there's no protection there so if mm -hmm. they're producing too many ketones then they really have a problem but in a healthy person you have insulin there to protect you because if there's too many ketones the insulin comes there and stops it Right. That's, that's the other function of uh, not only does uh, insulin protect you against the sugar rush, it also protects you against too much uh, ketones. But he was talking about an explorer in the 1800s that lived for a year with the Inuit people up in northern Canada, and he ate what they ate. And he kept a real good diary about what was going on, and he experienced the same thing that athletes who switch over to the ketogenic diet for three weeks. They feel lethargic, and they have not much energy and they have the headaches and after three or four weeks it goes it's away magical. and then all of a sudden it reverses and, and then you're in the ketogenic diet you're burning fat and then you don't get hunger pains if you don't have any food you don't go crazy uh, mm -hmm. you, because you don't go into starvation mode because you've got plenty of fat mm -hmm. and you can live for a week with right. no food and you don't have a problem you can still go hunting and not be crazy so, you know, that's, uh, there's a lot of great information coming out there uh, in that uh, debate that I was talking about. There was a lot of misinformation about there because the vegan always went back to the old thing about the China study and about how uh, that meat is a, a cancer-causing agent mm -hmm. when that's been disproved way uh, you know, many, many years ago. Right. I mean, people are just reciting a lot of flawed research, yeah. you know, the cholesterol lie. Uh, you know, I still have so many people come in and fear my cholesterol. My doctor wants to put me on this, yeah. that, and the other. And, and it's really quite amazing when you kind of can start to show them where this is just out there. I thank God for the Internet that we have access yeah. and the ability to find out. Yeah, we're going to be in real trouble if they try to shut that down, I'll tell you. Because, mm -hmm. uh, That's why I feel this ravenous need to just want to absorb it all, you know, find yeah. time to study. Yeah. And, yeah, that's and, my, um, my life is studying all this you stuff. Know, speaking I, of that, our great. caller, Tom, has this, oh, I mean, you know, Dr. Marshall, you know, for the QRA, mm -hmm. I mean, he must have something like uh, 50, 40 hours of, of radio clips when Dr. Marshall used to speak a little more freely right. and that I, I enjoy, you know, you know, but they're valuable. You can still hear Dr. Marshall on the radio. I particularly like the, the selections that are at Tom's Good File, so... Uh, awesome I'm, stuff. I'm looking for that. Uh, but while you're doing that, I want to finish addressing yes. Mitch's question about the gut. So, you know, Mitch was asking us a little bit about, I uh, believe that he has gut issues. Well, you know, most people, you know, neurotransmitter imbalance, um, you know, how you feel. These are all things that, that affect, you know, our gut is the second brain. And we're going to come back after this break. We'll talk a little bit, a bit about how our gut health affects the way we think and feel and maybe make some suggestions again on for how we can start healing the gut, healing our mind. Sounds so we'll awesome. see you and, when we get back. And the name of that uh, place is the 21 Convention. Oh, 21. Yeah. 21 Convention. Right back, folks. See you back. Have you subscribed to The Gold Report yet? On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.69% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began. And right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Gold Report by visiting TFNN.com. Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market makes its way back into positive territory after declining all the way from $1,900 to under $1,200 an ounce in only two years. 
Get your 30-day free trial today by visiting TFNN.com. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now you can receive a two-week free trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the Forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm going to try and finish up with Mitch's question about gut health. But, you know, gut health is so important. And this is, um, you, you know, yes, if you are having gut issues, which I think most of us do, we want to eliminate grains. We want to eliminate specifically gluten and gliadin-based grains. But I think the best thing to do yeah. is to eliminate them all because many of them are made in different facilities and they're, they're you know, they interfere anyways. They're not real food, folks. No, they're not real food, and they're starvation foods. And um, uh, we, they're, all you got to really do is kind of, you know, think on it, meditate on it a little bit, and you realize that it's what's in the aisles, and that's what the majority of the profits when it's boxed and bagged yeah. and packaged. Yeah. Um, but I think you're going to feel much better. But, you know, remember, we're just talking about our trillions of cells that we need to repair the membrane so there's proper signaling, signaling and communication. But even though we have 10 trillion cells, we have 10 times that, uh, the amount of microbes in our body. We are a host, folks. We are a host. And we want to encourage the good bacteria we because... We be a good host. We will, exactly. There are, there are invaders that are t bad, but we've been, again, there's this fear has been created with the whole germ theory. It's the terrain. We want our terrain full of healthy, productive, uh, m microbes that are helping us synthesize our B vitamins. We couldn't utilize these without, uh, we couldn't manufacture neurotransmitters. That's why the gut is referred to as the second brain. Many of the neurotransmitters that are responsible for our health and our mood. We've got a great, uh, 
I think that's coming out in one of our newsletters or something that's mm -hmm. going to be in the newsletter yeah. about gut health and microbes. So, well, you know what I find interesting is that mm -hmm. the, all these doctors, and Dr. Meyer in this article uh, is, does MRI scans to look at the, the, what the brain is doing depending on your gut health. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, when... Comparing you know, the gut health of people with different neurological, yes. uh, emotional issues. and yeah. uh, But this is not new, folks. It's great that we're using the MRI, but, you know, uh, we've had wonderful people. The man who created the Bach flower remedies, he was a bacteriologist. He's bacteriologist or <laughs> something yeah. like that. You know I mean? Don't ask me. Anyways, but I have no he spent, spent, spent his whole life analyzing stool samples. They say to walk into his lab was quite the thing. But Dr. Bach was primarily that. He created the bowel nosodes and really based on personality issues or stressors or the way someone is behaving or feeling could indicate the need for a bowel nosode and we use that and we yeah. and this is a this is a great tool to help people heal the mind body connection it yeah. continues folks it's been around this is ancient wisdom this is also at the top of quantum science yeah you know they are doing a study at uh, Princeton and they brought out uh, through brain scans that the wiring of the man and the woman is completely different where men think from the front to the back of the brain where mm -hmm. women go from side to side and uh, they're really uh, finding evidence now, of course, most of us know this, that women are much better at mul multitasking, where men mm -hmm. are really good at focused on one thing. We do that much better. Women are much better at looking into the future and organizing, especially groups of people, right. better at leading mm -hmm. uh, in a sane way. It would be interesting to see if this research from this Dr. Mayer uh, indicates a difference in the uh, bowel flora of a male and a woman, and yeah. I'm sure they're going to find that. Well, you know, all ancient societies were matriarchal. Yes, exactly. And the woman led, you know. In fact, when George Washington looked at the Iroquois nation, that's where he got democracy from. Mm -hmm. The only switch he made is, is I'm not going to let a woman do, run it. Mm -hmm. I'm let the man and then run we it. got the patriarchal yeah. influence, and then the church and the pope, and right. this kind of thing. Uh, of and course, and, uh, you know, you, we probably wouldn't go to war as much because uh, the women want to protect their sons where men want them side by side in the battle. Mm -hmm. It's a different thing. Men are good at hunting, and that's about it. Hunting and sex. Huh? Women are good at uh, I think women everything else and sex, I think. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, well, end on hey. that note. How about that? Have some probiotics over these holidays. Keep your mind and your gut healthy. Yeah, and uh, get a lot of uh, information from the Health Signals newsletter. Pick that up. Uh, Great from, links. Yep. Yeah. And uh, give us a call next week, folks. Uh, we're going to be here, and we're going to be living the primal lifestyle. Thanks a lot. See you then. What's the one thing that pulls people back from the breakthrough that they're moving towards? What's the only thing that really stops people from taking action? You and I both know the answer, and sure, we can come up with the reasons why we're not where we want to be, but the only reason that we don't do more with our life is fear. Or if you're an overachiever, call it stress. Simply put, there's something that happened to us in our past that's holding us back from the life we deserve, yet you and I are okay, we're here. So why should we let our past control our future? Exactly. We shouldn't. Hi. I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and when it comes to your trading and investing, I can help you overcome your fear of loss. Together, we'll turn weakness into strength with a system I've developed called Mastering Probability. I'll teach you how to make your money work harder for you than you do for it. I'll teach you the tools that provide financial freedom. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com, click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and begin your journey of mastering probability risk-free. It's time to become a pioneer of your future versus a prisoner of your past.